PayPal is preparing for a brand new future of paying for stuff in space. Uh, they're launching PayPal Galactic, which I find fascinating <laughs> because we know that PayPal was founded by Elon Musk. Elon Musk founded SpaceX and Tesla, cool company. But I'm wondering, how much of a coincidence is this? What? Yeah, I'm sure it's not a coincidence. <laughs> I'm sure Elon stands to gain from this. My question is, is this premature or not? I mean, I, I guess not. I feel like space tourism is... I, it's starting I, yeah, to Yeah, but they give a really unrealistic, like, we're going to be on Mars in 2018. Just yeah, like, are yeah. Are you sure? Mars One wants to, wants to really start settling. Are you really sure that's happening in 2018? I think, I think the big thing is we probably will be starting to see commercial suborbital flights happening pretty soon. Mm -hmm. But you can't really buy anything right now, no like one, right outside of the atmosphere. Like there's no kind of like gas station up there that you can stop by and yeah. pick up a Milky Way or Not something. Really. So. Milky Way, get it? Ha, no. Ha. Um, um, well, well I, I've talked about this before on the show, and that's uh, that there's kind of no laws in space right now. Like in yeah. this article that we're reading about it, he says, we still need a way to pay for life's necessities back here and out there, though exactly how isn't clear. <laughs> it's like, are you trying to make space currency? It's just, it's it kind sounds of like, like maybe that is what, I mean, here's the thing, you know, I think we've always had this mentality of like, I own you if I put a flag on you. I you know, we did that on the moon. I mean, we've did that, we did that all throughout kind of our imperialist <laughs> past. Well, probably we less so, but many countries. Not personally, Roman you Empire, and I and our England. Ancestors, but yeah. of course. <laughs> but so so this idea, you know, I remember doing um, an episode of The Point and mm -hmm. talking about mining asteroids for water and this idea that it could be hugely important for space travel if there are way stations outside of the planet where we can uh, fuel up basically with water because water is a huge commodity in space and mm -hmm. it's very heavy it adds to the payload and it makes it really hard to bring enough that you'll need. So if we could mine an asteroid, get the water out of that asteroid, take it with us, we could potentially extend our space travel. The problem is, who owns an asteroid? See, we don't How have do you monetize this stuff? We need space lawyers. <laughs> we need space law and order. And we but don't have that. It's kind of like the Wild West, but with no guns. That's Florida. It's true. Um, and this is a field that's actually starting. I mean, we're starting to see this kind of law being written. Mm -hmm. And I think that PayPal wants to take the first step. Elon Musk has always been kind of out front yeah. with a lot of this really experimental stuff. Tesla, one of the first, other than Fisker, you know, um, uh, high-end luxury yes. electric cars. Obviously, SpaceX is aiming to be one of the first uh, commercial tourism, tourism, along with Virgin Galactic. Yeah. Um, and I don't know how much involvement Elon has anymore in PayPal, but it, it kind of fits the mold, right? Of Do you like, think he kind of went like, hey, guys, I maybe. got a hot tip for you. <laughs> but I, I don't know what his relationship is. I'm sure he is. stands to gain from I'm sure he still is collecting from PayPal in so one way SpaceX or another. SpaceX and PayPal Galactic kind of going to be in cahoots together? Maybe, I mean, but I'm sure that I'm sure that having a relationship with Virgin Galactic is going to come in handy too. Yeah. But that's interesting. You know, there are no rules. It may seem a bit premature, <laughs> but it, it, it says that they're working alongside the SETI Institute, right? The Search mm -hmm. for Extraterrestrial Intelligence and the Space Tourism Society. There's already a Space Tourism <laughs> Society. These things it's are cool. going to be important, and that's the crazy thing. We are sitting here talking about how will we pay for shit in space? Like, I'm legit, this like, is a real concern <laughs> right now while we're alive. That's amazing. It is, but I still feel it's a little premature. We have to get those those way stations and colonies out there. We don't have. But that all yet. of that's going to cost money. So maybe I you guess. establish you establish a system first, so that like, there's no confusion later. This will be a billion space bucks. I don't even know. It's just like, <laughs> It's just, it's so theoretical to me. I think the hope is crazy. that this will somehow stimulate the American economy. 